Hey friends, Ryan it here. Today we're going to be working on this circus machine again. Uh, that one. So, these are the play field mounts. Uh, I've done a little work on this one with the scrubby drill brush thing. This is a one I haven't touched yet. It's cleaning up pretty good. So, I'm going to get the polisher out, I think, and see if it cleans it up better. I don't know. Alright, and then we're going to do more work on some of this other stuff. Alright, we got these kind of polished up. There is a little pitting on there, and I tried to get some of it out here, and I think I'm just going to succeed in making this corrode really bad. Again, if I get aggressive enough to take all of that off, like I did right here, focus. Anyway, so I'm just going to call that about good. I did take and shine up the bolts. Whether or not that's how it's supposed to be, we'll never know. But that, unfortunately, I kind of damaged these trying to get them out. So hopefully they'll stay in there. But put those back and just work our way around. This may be what you file is unnecessary, but I decided to shine up the bolts and washers for the that hold the mech board over there in the in the cabinet. Looks good. But probably unnecessary. Alright, so you're sorting through this shit and you're like, where in the hell do all these pieces go? That is why you Get your Dropbox or whatever and take about 100 pictures before and as you're taking it apart so you know where all this shit goes. Although I still don't know what this is for. Um, but I think I figured out the rest of them. I don't know where this poor guy goes. Figure that out. Um, so these are for the back box. That's the knocker. Tilt stuff. This protects the chimes and sits like that gives play field something to rest on this is for the coin door is there a lockdown receiver um that's obviously your glass i still have to figure out what the hell i'm gonna do with that weird plexi shit that they put in there um i'll try and clean this up it may be a one of them deals that you just kind of get a new one I'm just I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get down that channel very well but we'll give it a go I need a, a sandblaster we can put the knocker back together with our new coil shine all this stuff up and put it back on there so let's get to it it's the next day and I did some digging online right and I kind of was dreading trying to use this pad on all this stuff here. So, apparently you can use molasses and water, or rust-oleum and water, to kind of eat rust off the stuff. So I went to Lowe's here, Lowe's, and bought some, some uh, end fittings and some four inch pipe which you could get five feet for like $15 and 10 feet for 18. So what the hell, right? And I also bought this little channel right here to put down for the back box door. So I have a couple that are missing. So we'll get to that. And then this is for my kill room, but I already had that. We'll get to that later too. So I'm gonna dig my glue out that I bought when it froze here and my sprinkler broke. Put that together so it can be drying. Then we're gonna soak this for, I don't know, we'll give it a couple days. I might have to take that one apart. And this should probably take apart. The rest of this is pretty good. 
all by itself. Probably take the plunger rod out. These are fine, so I can probably put the back box together. Eh, maybe I'll put that in there. Or maybe I'll just use this deal on those so I can do something today. Anyway, let's build that and put it in there and we'll see what she does. All right, all those parts in the bin. Promise it's not a sewer pipe. So it is 3.56 on June 23rd. We'll give this a day or two. See what happens. I got another cap somewhere I'm gonna stick on there so there's not a bunch of bugs and shit. So we'll see what, what goes on. Okay friends, here we have our tube. It is 5.45 on June 25th p.m. So you can see it's been in there for a couple days. My quality craftsmanship is totally not leaking at all. But I'm gonna dump this out, scrub them up, and we'll see what, what turns out. And then these legs right here are not bad. But anyway, we'll stick them in there for a few days or a week and see what happens. All right, well, first glance, not terrible, actually. I don't know, we'll see if that cleans up or not. All right. All right, I took them out of there, scrubbed them up pretty good with my scotch brite here. And you can see some pieces, like this one, it shined it up real good. See this? That side looks good, but that side still looks like shit. So that's about how they all came out. If they had just surface rust, it got it off okay. But like all the deeper rust, it didn't do much of anything. So it is kind of what it is. I mean, you can see it on this piece too. The surface rust came off good, but all the deeper rust. I don't know if it needed more time or if it just like I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna have to take it out there and give it a good scrub down with my steel wool, like the quad zero or get some heavier stuff. But yeah. I mean it did good, it just it didn't shine it up like some of these are shined up. And then these bolts some of them have like paint or something on them. Like that one came out pretty good, but that one and the washers still look pretty bad. Like, yeah, look at that. But that doesn't look like rust. I don't know what the hell it is. But, I mean, all in all, it was an experience. I'm still going to go stick those legs in there for maybe about a week. We'll see how they came out. Anyway, so let's go put all this shit on the cabinet. All right, do a little update. Leave it to you to decide if you can tell which one I polished. Some Novus 2. All right, so we've been working for quite a while. We got most of the hardware put back in. It's starting to look like a pinball machine again. I mean, some of this I would have to really scrape the piss out of it and repaint it to get that out of there. It's just not working. And then every time I look at something, you know, just even glance at it, it gets dingy fingerprints all over it like this that makes it look shitty. But I mean, at some point you just gotta call it. So we got pretty much everything back in there. We got this wayward bolt right here that doesn't do anything. And I looked at my before pictures and that's how it was. So if you know what that's for, let me know. But the, the receiver works good. Plunger. Oh, yeah. Springs are a little different in my rebuild kit than they were originally, but this spring was just crushed and dead. That one worked okay. Um. 
So we got to put the buttons in. We got to put the leg bolt things in. Right there. We'll see how far we get. All right, so I know this is probably frowned upon, but I'm gonna put this button here for coins. So I don't like the free play. I wanna be able to insert credits. So it's recessed up in there. See, I put that, that plate on the bottom to mend it. So it barely sticks out of that, and you got this pretty good chunk of wood there. So I can use my lift still, and it, it won't impact it. So, fits pretty good. Hot wire that into the coin mix on the door right there. So, first, I want to put the, the legs on. So, I, I got these newer, stronger, I guess the old one works for 40 years, but I like these new ones. So, I'm going to put these on, and then I'll clamp that in there. Uh, glue it in. Got this big ass clamp at Harbor Freight here. A couple bucks. So we'll do that. It should be pretty well set. Let me put the legs on, mount those inside things, glue it, and we'll close out. Teachable moment. I see a lot of things like this. And this is completely incorrect. Even stuff I bought from pretty good pinheads have them like this. This is correct. So you adjust the, the leg to where you want it to be, and then you jam nut this up against it. This, even if you jam nut it, you go around. This won't move. And it, you're holding it with two bolts instead of just this. So teachable moment. Also, wear safety glasses. So we got our clamp in there, clamping the button down. Unfortunately, I got the leg bolts all stuck in there, but I don't have any friggin' 8 by 5 8 inch screws. I have 6 by 5 8 but no 8 by 5 8 so I have to get some of them and put them all in there. I had like 24 of them. So we got that. We got the legs on. It's starting to look like a real machine now. So hopefully we're getting somewhere. Um, it just really doesn't look like it's on there, but it is. Okay. So we got some more stuff in our goodie bag here. We got a couple of the other two coils that need a replaced power cord, flipper repair kit, new balls, some top bumper screws, a few coil sleeves, rubber kit, which is there's a tip. We'll put that on when we get to it. That's for another machine. These are flasher bulbs, regular bulbs or coil sleeves. So we're getting there. So next we got to do the coin door. Hopefully that'll polish up good. And we'll have to see if it works. And then we're going to start on the back box here. Um, that's the job. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like the progress? Am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it right? What would you do differently? Let me know. And we'll go from there. All right, keep it real, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.